So a little backstory behind why we named the boat Atka Girl. When I used to live up here in Alaska, my first husky I got up here and I named her Atka. And she was just the best dog I ever had. But I ended up having to leave that dog down in Arizona with my mom and dad. And my dad always called her Atka Girl. And so I thought it would be fitting that um, since the boat didn't have a name and I actually verified that with the owner because you often don't want to rename a boat if it's got one. Um, so this one did not have a name and so we thought about it and we thought Atka Girl would be uh, just a good solid name for our first boat up here in Alaska. You ready to take her out? Oh yeah, she's going to hit the water soon. taking our boat down to Homer, first time in the water. Um, so it should be pretty exciting. The day is gorgeous, beautiful sunny day. Um, so it should be pretty good conditions to be out on the water for today and tomorrow. And we're gonna do a little bit of tent camping on the Homer Spit, which um, has a very near and dear place in my heart because when I came up here, in my early adulthood with my brother and my buddy Lance, we um, actually slept in our tents on the Homer Spit for five months.
Is ready. boating today guys dang next time but what if it never comes we'll have to figure out the problem <laughs> okay so we got the boat in the water um it's super busy trying to launch this boat right here, so it's a little nerve wracking. But anyway, we got it in the water. Um, it's got power. Um, I primed the line, everything. It looked like it was full of pressure. And um, we tried and tried and tried and, and it wouldn't start. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so we pulled it out thinking that it was kind of an epic fail. And a guy came over and started talking to me um, just randomly about the boat and by the time we were done with the conversation he said well did you make sure that the air valve was open on your gas tank because if you don't it'll pressure lock it and it won't pull the fuel and so I'm pretty certain that was the problem I took some pliers it was pretty stiff so I had to take some pliers and open it up and it opened so we're thinking that that, that was the problem and we're gonna give it another try See what happens. Why does that sound different now? Things don't go your way, a walk on the beach and some s'mores always makes things better.
are so loud. So loud. Do you hear that? All night. Morning, Sally. Morning, Ben. Morning, Baba. Morning, sis. Morning. Hey, Mama. Morning. 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 Morning, sister. Good morning. Um, wow, so the whole round two of the boat um, attempt didn't work. So the vacuum theory thing wasn't the problem. <clears throat> so I've got a guy coming down to help me work on it today. So we're gonna work on it this morning, see what we can do to get it going and hopefully get it out on the water. Wish us luck. That's better than we've heard it. That's the best I've heard it yet. You guys ready to go on the boat? Just a comeback, another comeback. Far too orchestrated, far too calculated. Out of the end up there. I'm just gonna go out to Yukon Island, and I'm gonna hook a big turn. I'm gonna come back this way and just kind of sightsee. I'm a conductor, a simple conductor With electricity just pouring through me You're a habit, another bad habit Keep biting my nails and caves All else fails for us Another fine, fine line. A 
pointing at me and hearing me speak you I can doctor a simple can